Hi everybody and welcome to my final regular game of the Dominion League season 43A division. We are playing against Dr. Steelhammer and while we look at the kingdom view our situation is as follows. If we win this I've got pretty good chances of reaching the oh should have clicked start game. Pretty good chances of reaching the champion match. Um, of course, Tracer and Mick are in striking distance, but we are one and a half points ahead right now, and we won against both of them. So if we win, they gotta win big in their last game. 6 0, I believe, right? If you go 4 to 2, they need to 6 0. So. And of course, the other players with less games could also catch us still, I guess, but that's less likely. So what is this? We've got Way of the Ox, um, Moneylender, some outpost thing with Swashbuckler for draw. I think we're gonna open Lackey's Moneylender here, play with outpost. Unfortunately, there isn't really a way to activate your swashbuckler. Um, or to do it reliably. So, uh, he goes for the same opening. We hit 5, which is pretty nice. Let's get a swashbuckler here. And could probably go for a reasonably early outpost okay so he mirrors us there let's take blessed village here see what boon we can get yeah that's one for next turn oh that's a pretty nice boon it's now one estate up in the trashing um Four again. Could be another blessed village. Could be like double lackeys, honestly. Mm. Puts a lot of terminals into our deck, though. Um. I guess let's get another blessed village. Um, take this next turn. We're not gonna use it, or are we? Let's see. Um, down there is estate and money lender. So if we do this card here, say Swashbuckler to Coppers, play the play the lackeys. We hit three. Could buy another lackeys and get a gold. And the other options are not discarding and drawing through. Uh, might leave us with a kind of bad stuff on top. So maybe let's do it. And for three, we can buy another lackeys. And I think we want to buy an outpost now. He gets to draw his deck, which is pretty nice for him. Yeah, I think I like getting an outpost now. Because, uh, well, even if you hit two, you can always buy a lackeys. And that's not the worst thing in the world. Did I? Oh, yeah, I didn't unmute myself. All good. He gets another swashbuckler. All right. Let's play the swashbuckler. Um, we're still gonna trash, right? Yeah, sure, for sure, we're gonna trash. And let's get the outpost. And now we want a wine merchant for buys. And it's also gonna be pretty nice uh, payload, I guess. Yeah, let's take it. Outpost on top. Um, 
guess we ox the lackeys. Who would like to have a villager remaining? Um, what should this be? It could be a carriage. Could just be Blessed Village. Maybe that's better. Boon might help us. And we want some actual villages, I guess. Well, there is Ox, right? But... Uh, the, the Boon might help our outpost turn, so... Yep, that's pretty nice, pretty nice boon. Well, at least we get to buy another one. Should it be lackeys? Oh, let's get another blessed village. Take that next turn. Well, well that's a way to activate the swashbuckler, right? <laughs> He's got one coffers already. But gonna be tough to get more. Well, maybe. No. Um, because we're gonna be drawing our decks, right? So. Okay, wine merchant for him. Oh, he's pretty thin. How's the trashing? He's got two coppers left. Now only one. Which means we have three left. Okay, that's pretty. We're gonna trash two times here. It's pretty even on that front. Now, should this be another blessed village? Or should it be lackeys? I'm not sure. Let's take another blessed village. Yeah, let's take it now. That was pretty nice. Um, there is Swashbuckler on top. Well, somewhere in these six cards. So we're gonna leave that there. Um, just trash here. And should it be another swashbuckler? Should it be another wine merchant? I've got two, la Do we have two or three lackeys. I don't know. I feel like we need one more of the swashbucklers, especially now on the outpost turn. Okay, there's the swashbuckler. Even get to activate it, and we're gonna play on here. That was nice, nice turn. Um, could be wine merchant lackeys. We want villagers. How many blessed villages do we have? Let's count. One, two. Three, four, five. Yeah, that feels like it's enough, right? We've got ox as well. Let's go. Um, wine merchant, lackeys. So we've got both got one copper left. Here's one estate thinner. Merchant lackeys for him. Being one estate thinner is certainly nice in that that it does help you kick off on your outpost turns, right? A 
that's on top. Um, well, we want the, the other wine merchant, right? We're just gonna play on. Oh, there it is. Oh. Okay, um, more wine merchants, right? And another lackeys. Could be wine merchant, blessed village lackeys. I uh, feel like we need another village. Well, we're gonna be using the money lender as as a village now if you go wine merchant blessed village lackeys that leaves three lackeys four wine merchants does that put him into a spot where he might be able to finish Hmm. That's 26 over two turns. Not sure. Well, he, oh, he would also need a duchy on top of it, so maybe this is fine. Yeah, let's go wine merchant plus village lackeys. Next turn we can green like take a province and maybe add a capital for some threats there uh, should have bought the lackeys first and the, this could set up oh, damn it. this could have set up um, Oof, this is looking rough. Um, well, we've got a decent amount of draw cards there, but this is not one. Um, well, that's pretty horrible. Then, yeah, that was just stupid. We should have bought the lackeys first. Mm. Self-inflicted. Okay, let's see, 26. Mm. He's got three wine merchants and that is all his payload, right? He doesn't have a gold as we do. So that's 12, but we don't have to be worried about a three pile. Now should we take another wine merchant? Um, then there are three left. He could buy two and get his wine merchants back and then on his outpost turn he will have, he'll be able to make 20 and that could finish. So we should not, huh. Oh, actually, let's see if he buys two, there's two left, then he can make 20 and he will need, he can then, he could win, right? By buying, well, let's come buys, he would then need two wine merchants. Relax, he's two estates. And that is um seven buys with he will have five wine merchants. So he won't have enough buys. Yeah, I don't 
it was just so stupid to make ourselves that. Of course we didn't know there was the sun's gift, but it was one in three chance. Of course we didn't track it. But just generally should buy the lackeys first. It was just mindless clicking that really really set us back here. So please never do that. You see where it's gonna get you. <coughs> yeah, so at least we calculated what he could do correctly. We might even get to activate one of our swashbucklers here, make an extra coffer. Now, what should he do? It's a good question. Ooh. Hmm. Oh, it's tough for him to right? I mean, he can green, then he's probably fine. Uh, I feel like our deck is a bit better though, right? Because we have this gold, so we can make more money. We also have the capital. Oh man, I was so dumb with the Sanskrit. Really, really stupid. That's what you get for oh, screwing up the se sequencing. Okay, he buys a gold, so he feels like he needs more payload. Copper, yeah, I mean, it's money lender food. And now he can probably double and then if we double, he might be able to double twice. And then we need to figure out um, if we can play around that or we just need to go for it. We can certainly dart on his outpost turn too, right? There's decent number of stop cards in his deck now. So he's not guaranteed to get the double double. Ooh, okay. More draw. Uh, can we afford to aux one of these? I think we can. That gave us a coffer, which is really nice. Hmm, what is on top? Estate and um, estate and gold. So we want both of those, right? So. Like this. So let's see. Can we somehow try to win? Let's say we go three lackeys, two wine merchants. Um, that is, or maybe just three lackeys, one wine merchant. We'll have 10 left, which is not 
ideal. Then we only need to hit well three lackeys to wine merchants. We'll have five left. We can pay off three debt. We need to hit eighteen next turn. We can do that, right? Maybe we should go for it. Alternatives are like double provincing. But he can certainly get four provinces on his turn if he wants. And then he's got five. I don't know. Let's do the three lackeys, two wine merchants. If he died, we are dead. But three, putting three lackeys on in our deck is gonna help us in that regard. Uh, we can. Oh, we. Well, uh, th that happens before paying off debt, so it's actually pretty nice. Uh oh, oof, we got the swashbuckler. Okay, I think we've got it. That was scary. Um, Ooh, that was scary. Even got to double. Alright, uh, we took a risk and were rewarded. I don't know if that was the best line for us there. Um, don't need to know the best line if you get lucky. <laughs> So, this has no buy. Oh, Kingdom View. Almost forgot it. Close call. Um, Jack Sewer's opening. Maybe get a camel train, because that way you could get some border villages, get more fives and then you're just single provincing, right? There's not much more to this board and probably skip familiar Yeah, and that's it. Maybe you can turn some border villages into provinces with farmlands later. Uh, maybe you could mint on a five copper hand. It's probably pretty good. Well, first you need to get the five copper hand. If we leave this, we get it, right? Ha! Huh. Yeah, we're gonna mint away a, a, a five coppers next turn. It's gonna be great. And should we trash copper or estate here? Mm. I think we should trash estate so we have silver and two coppers. So we can possibly buy a mountain village. Should we get a faithful hound? Mm, I think we should not. Because we want to draw the jack.
Yeah, now we buy, buy Mountain Village. Or maybe it should be Camel Train. Not sure. Now do we want to get rid of this Mint? Jack's gonna gain us Silvers, right? So who needs a Mint? And do we even want um, Mountain Village? Probably not. Let's get Camel Train here. If we're lucky, we hit it with uh, six dollars. And we can Border Village Stables. Oh yeah, we are lucky. <laughs> Can't complain here. He's got eight. Now he got. Well, actually, this exiling border village doesn't gain you extra cards, right? So, mm. but it's still nice to have the extra border villages. Well, maybe that was a waste. The camel train. Stables or catacombs? I've got two border villages, but I don't know. Let's take stables. What are we gonna do with this camel train? Should be province now. Oh, can be in province now. We can if we want to. We could even like exile silver here to gain an extra silver. Yeah, I think we province now. If we hit, uh, if we miss eight, we can just get another like border village stables. Hmm. What we also could do is exile gold, buy gold. Hmm. That does cost us another turn oh, with respect to greening, though. And would really like to be the first one to green here, especially as player two. I don't know, let's do it. If we can keep up this greening pace, that's pretty good. And if we miss eight, we we're gonna hit um, at least five. Uh, let's farmland this border village into a province. We don't really need these border villages, do we? He does the same, all right. Um, 
Gonna play the jack. This card. I guess we're gonna take another stables here. <laughs> Maybe this was a bit optimistic when we started greening because we really seem to be having trouble now. We're gonna farmland the farmland again. Yeah, let's get rid of the copper. Right. Hmm. Maybe not because of stables. We do have silvers to discard though. We do have to be careful about oh, when, ooh, him doing that and he's got one more border village left. we keep that so we completely whiffed here I think we should trash the camel train what do we buy another silver this mountain village gonna do us any good Maybe it can pick up the border village when we need it or something. Hmm. Yeah, I guess this province was too early after all. Maybe the line where we exile gold and buy gold to get three golds into our deck was um, was something we should have done there. Oh, we're just gonna buy Dachi and hope. Nope. Alright. GG. Yeah. I think that was a misplay to green that early there because felt our deck felt good up until that point. Oh anyway. Next game. Kingdom View again. We've got Ark, we've got Torture. We've got Altar, which we want. We've got Ghost Ship, which we want. We're gonna open Silver Scavenger. Hope to spike Altar. Mm, not yet. Um, do we want a replace? I think we do. To also get villages. Oh nice, now we get the altar. Now we need some villages and we can get two here, so that's great. Uh, let's hope we draw the altar or at least the scavenger. Nope. Mm, another village I guess. Oh, we drew one. That's nice. 
Uh, got a gain curse here, right? Don't want to discard. Okay, that is pretty nice. Uh, discard and put village on top. And let's go, I don't know, Tortra, Tortra. At some point we want to mix in a ghost chip, I guess. No, well, maybe not. It's only good if we can play it before the Tortras. If we play it after Tortras, it might not be so good if they discard it already. So let's do double Tortra. Oh, nice, we draw it right away. Yeah, drawing pretty well here so far. Oh, discard that stuff. Did we, what did we alter last time? Curse. Because we want to keep these estates for our replace, right? Mm. There's a village on top, right? One, two, three. Nope. And then we've got to discard. We want a top deck Tatra. Or maybe we. Hmm. Nah, let's let's go Tortra. But the scavenger wants to buy a village, I believe. Because village is the only village here. <laughs> and also there's Ark. So um I think here we can discard. Do we want to keep the estate? No. Maybe we should have kept it. Uh, let's just play it again. You already discarded and this... Ooh, this card's down to one. What is this one card? A village. Okay, so we split villages 5-5, five, five, I believe. Get another Tortra here. Hmm. Another Tortra. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Get that Tortra chain going. Oh. Mm, well, that wasn't so ideal. No, oh, that was the wrong discard. it didn't matter anyway but this is these last two turns have been pretty sad for us <sighs> oh but he's not having the greatest turns either do we even want silver? I don't think we want silver. Not now at least. Okay, this is looking good. Might have to gain curse now. How many Tortras does he have? Do we have five? Which would mean he has four. That's how it is. Uh, 
And then what do we do after Tortress Run? Just single provinces. We do have this replace. We certainly have um, too many terminals. We're gonna replace the scavenger into a gold probably at some point. Oof. Okay. Well, now we are heading towards a three pile. There should be a good amount of torturers down there, right? So we just draw and hope to draw one. There's. Um, two torturers, altar, and something, probably copper. We don't want to use the scavenger, I think, because then we can't play on. Oof. Well. Well, oh well. What do we even alter for? Coven. <laughs> Why not? It's just a silver. I mean, it might help us force a three pile or something. Might also be detrimental. I guess now we want to use the scavenger. Because we want to top deck a village and leave these two torturers. Oh, there's another village down there. Yeah. So that was a bit unfortunate that we get didn't get to draw on there. Got a gain curse. How many curses can he? Can't gain three. Uh, th this is not looking good, right? Because he's gonna province again. And then. Oh man. Now we gotta discard. Dutchy. Coven. Hmm. Maybe you can do something. If we replace the altar into province. Ah, we this is all of our villages, right? <sighs> we can hope oh, we can't get there. Can we? This is the best we can do, and it's not enough. Alright, GG. I don't know, I felt this... Well, um, in the start, we it went well for us, but in the mid-game, we somehow couldn't get our deck to work. Maybe that was just bad sequencing, but maybe also the fact that we were over-terminaled. 
Anyway, next one, kingdom view here, and get to start 2 5. Oh, which is nice. We get the sanctuary raid. Mm. Actions here are hideout gives you actions, and then you can play slay and trash mm. one of your horses. <laughs> We're gonna open slay sanctuary. He goes hideout overlord, which is pretty good as well. Pretty good opening as well, I would say. You can draw with wishing wells here. Apart from that, there isn't that much to be done, I guess. Exile this. Should we get another slay? Oh, maybe. And then Overlord next turn. Maybe not. Maybe next turn we buy Hideout. Yep, we buy Hideout. For some more trashing. Don't want another slay, do we? Uh, I guess now we buy an overlord. It's a little sad we don't get to put the horses into the shuffle, but that's a small shuffle. We can top deck one, that's nice actually, with our second slay. Ah, so that's all fine. Um, Overlord as Sanctuary, I guess. Right, that's nice and I mean another overlord it's they're not really doing that much for us guess we get another overlord He's also really thin. I've got the patron wishing well combo here. You would really like to get some wishing wells, but somehow you only ever manage to hit two dollars which might come from the fact that we were buying all these overlords and we're always in debt Exile. 
we also want to play this as wishing well. I think we do. Down there is like horse, overlord, copper, I think. So it would be best for us if we draw a horse, I believe. Oh, master overlord. All right. Oh, we can play on this way. Okay. Let's do that then. Oh, now there's a horse on top. And uh, let's just play patron here. I guess these overlords are gonna be patrons now. We really need to ramp up our payload now. Could play them as pirate ships. <laughs> he does have one gold in his hand though. We're gonna hit five here. Just which could just be patron. Should we do this pirate sh ship thing? We have... Um, he has one copper exiled. We have one exiled, which means we have trashed four. So he has trashed three. One exiled, so he has... Uh, he's got four in his deck still. Is that right? One in exile. Three. One in exile. Three in the trash from him. If we hit the gold, that's pretty nice, isn't it? If we don't, that's pretty sad. He's also got a silver. He does have... good amount of treasure in his deck. Let's do it. Because if we just go patrons, he's like a head on payload. We have these horses we can play for draw, but that's it. I don't know, let's do it. Oh, nice. And maybe another overlord. <laughs> I don't know if this is uh, what this should be, what this is supposed to be. Oh, hitting, hitting the gold. 
uh, was pretty good for us. What did we say? He has four coppers. We trashed one. He trashed one, so now he has two coppers. Two coppers, gold, silver. Uh, it would be nice to hit one more treasure. One more of his treasures. So our pirate ships are worth three. And now he's gonna develop his treasures. That makes sense. And patron is um Patron is nice defense against pirate ship if you flip it, gives you a coffer. I uh, guess this means we're not gonna play pirate ships anymore. Um. Guess this means we're just gonna play patrons now. And two slays. We don't want more overlords, do we? No. So, I guess the second pirate ship play was a bit questionable. Uh, after we already knew we hit the gold. I mean, we could have hit uh, his silver or well, we knew he had the other gold in hand so well, we could have hit the silver there so I guess it's kind of fine but now we don't have any use for these pirate ships anymore does discourage him from ever getting treasures again though because if we can hit another of his treasures with our pirate ships then that's pretty good sea hag well we don't mind that that's outpost food why is a province Hmm. We don't have the money to buy province if we only play these as patrons. Maybe you could develop the sanctuary into like gold patron. Right, that's that's a way we can hit province. And I think we want a province too. And we can even do this.
That's a strange board. Really strange. We wanted to build this Wishing Well Patron deck at some point and somehow we didn't do it, didn't get there. He can make nine, nine dollars. We can also do some develop stuff. Uh, we gotta play one of fishing well, right? Hmm. Patron? Do we name page? Well, we don't have to name patron. What's down there? Horse hideout. Patron gold. Well, I guess the best would be um, we want a province again. For that, we need gold and patron, and we need to be able to play one of the overlords as. Um, as patron, so we should remove a stop card, I guess. Let's say patron. Okay, it's horse. All right. We can try to find patron again. Well, we wanna exile, right? So we just do sanctuary here. Can use the coffer now. Should we like buy a copper um, as hideout food? We can also feed it a horse. Let's not buy copper. Hmm. No, let's not do it. It's not. It's not gonna be nice for us. Hmm. How does this end? He's got a sanctuary to develop if he wants to. So he can increase his payload, but he doesn't have uh, as much draw as we do. So that's a little tougher for him. At some point he wants to province Dachi. I think. And if not, we just... Well, maybe he wants to double Dachi at some point. Guess we wishing well first here. Oh, uh, we could also just leave that. It's a bunch of horses, sleigh, and an overlord. We do want to keep the green out of our deck, don't we? Let's play on. Um, three horses, province, sleigh is what we've got. 
on let's name horse got it got a trash one of the horses now sanctuary the province go patron overlord patron oh damn it he screwed up yeah we needed that copper that's just bad hmm Yeah, and that's why we should have bought the copper. We didn't get the we used the copper, and now we don't have it anymore. Well, now we're just bad, aren't we? Is there anything we can do? If you buy by province here. have to hope he somehow misses guess we go dutchy copper if he buys province we buy province we are at 24 he's at 26 and we just need to hope he somehow misses oh, just bad mistake to not buy the copper I mean, how's he gonna dart, right? He's he's got the green nicely tucked away. Ooh, develops hideout. That she wishing well. Oh, that's nice. That's actually pretty nice. <sighs> Is there anything we can do? Top of our deck is Copper Slay. We've got 11 here. If we go like Thinking about like if we go triple dutchy, we are 27. Uh, still, just single province from him is gonna win, isn't it? Go like double that G twenty four so thirty five. We need like province double that G, which there's no way for us to do it, is there? I don't know.
he just screwed this one up with missing the missing the province because we didn't have enough money of course he had some other options to play with like what he just did here but we would have had an easier time to try and match him on that embassy Well, now we need province double duchy. <laughs> How are we gonna do that? There's no way we can do that, right? So we just got a bunch of duchies, I guess. And hope he's somehow gonna miss. So we get two duchies here, he gets a duchy, then we can win with province duchy, so I guess we're gonna try that. Got a trash, that slay. At least get to keep a villager that way. Maybe that's gonna help. Oh, but now draw will be an issue as this hand already uh, seems to imply uh, he's just gonna win now GG <coughs> we threw that well wasn't really a throw but more like a game losingly bad mistake. All right, next one. This is more the kind of board. Um, we know how to play. Our last one just didn't have a clue. 5 2. It's not really special here. We're just gonna go amulet peasant anyway, right? Could think about amulet temple. Could think about like charm peasant, but nah. Charm peasant could then gain amulet warehouse or something, but. Why not just get the amulet right away? So that's what we are gonna do. Could also think about gear, but let's get amulet first. Amulet peasant. Alright, this is nice. Trash here. 
second amulet or should this be warehouse maybe it should be warehouse second amulet could get us into terminal issue situation if we don't manage to buy mining village our peasant misses which is not great we're just gonna trash again and I guess gear is fine because you can set your stuff aside and use it next turn could also be such silver to be able to hit four. But gear is also gonna help us do that. <laughs> now we get all at once, but that's fine. Just set it set it aside. Uh, we don't want to play the warehouse, so I mean. It's not actually fine, right? Because um, we've got to decide between peasant and amulet next turn. Well, what's down there? Five coppers. So that could be mining village peasant. Hmm. Mining village peasant. Didn't want to buy another peasant here. And we're not gonna get an expand. We're <laughs> already are terminal situation is kinda screwed up well should it really be peasant now because we're gonna have the same problems again um, what else warehouse uh, maybe warehouse and then we get peasant we've also got a chance to exchange the soldier Um, I guess this is probably a board where you want to get teacher and not stay on. Well, disciple is of course great, but doesn't look like you're gonna oh now let's get another mining village. Charm could be nice for the buy. Alright, now we have two terminals, gear, amulet, so charm would be enough, right? Well, let's hope we can draw the mining village. And let's also hope. Nope. We're just gonna play the gear. I mean, we would really like to get peasant now. And discard like this, I guess. Okay. Like gaining lots of cards with disciple is nice, but it's not gonna snowball you as hard as on other boards. That's what I wanted to say. Of 
think he's ahead in trashing now. Only trashed a state twice. He's trashed two estates and two coppers. Uh, Let's keep that estate so we can maybe trash it. Nope. Um, this could be seven. It could be mining village gear. Probably want another gear. Uh, it could also be don't know what else it could be. Let's go mining village gear. He did not find a village there. Well, he only has one village anyway. All right. Um, don't set aside here. Oh, finally, we get to <laughs> play our amulet for the second time. Turn 10. It's been a while. Um, now we want more peasants, don't we? Uh, or maybe just charm, I don't know. Having lots of disciples is good, so that's what, what we'll try and do. Just get two peasants here. Call it a day. There is plate mining village, mining village. So there's a mining village on top, and I believe we want to disciple that. And we probably don't even want to trash just so we can. Uh, Play this warehouse uh, better. Yeah, especially now that we get um, soldiered. He gets a teacher now. Um, okay. <laughs> oh man, what? What? We didn't even, we didn't only have two mining villages. Did we? Well, that's bad. <clears throat> Guess we're gonna disciple the gear, but not set any anything aside. Okay, there's our coppers. Um, more peasants still. Pfft. I 
I will have to check this. It's one, two. That's right, we only have two mining villages. And this is. I don't know how I got the idea that we have three, but it wasn't true at all. So this double peasant also was pretty poor choice. Should have been a mining village. What's down there? Two mining villages, two peasants and a fugitive. I think we need to keep this one more turn. Maybe we don't get a teacher after all. Piles are running. And having lots of disciples is pretty good in its spot. <sighs> because you can threaten to empty. Let's discard two of these. Maybe we can disciple a mining village. Or should we disciple this gear? Let's think for a moment. I guess rather disciple the gear. I don't know. I feel like we've played this really poorly. Well, I mean, our early draws also weren't ideal, but then on top of it, we botched it by miscounting stuff, and that's just bad. He's got plus card on Mining Village now, which is great. He's also gonna have two Disciples, as do we. So we're not really don't really have anything to show. It's uh, maybe we can sneak a three pile or something. We need to really find really need to find our soldier now to get fugitive and then two turns well actually it's gonna be well depending on how we count it the turn after next turn we might have three disciples uh, he 
just gonna get to put another teacher token down though in the meantime where are all his mining villages well set aside all right <laughs> set aside and maybe in hand to to in hand to set aside that might be it our deck is so sad Um, disciples are hiding, unfortunately. Set this stuff, stuff aside. Maybe we're gonna draw one. Two disciples on top, we're gonna leave that. We're gonna go gear warehouse. I think it's two disciples and a peasant, isn't it? That we have there. Should we move? this peasant or just keep it not quite sure <laughs> let's move it up Is there a way we can win this turn? I guess we should try. This might be the best chance we get. Unless he's gonna green now, which he might. If he does not green, we're gonna try to go for peasants and gears well that's an argument uh, just oh uh, that's that's brutal poor teacher he was um was retired from service did we say in the beginning this is a board <laughs> that we think we know how to play um, certainly does not look like we, we knew what we were doing look at his deck such a nice deck and then look at this mess <laughs> that we've got should just resign I think 
um, there's no way you can score enough or do anything useful. Um, so much for winning that match. I mean, that was off the table already, but now we can't even tie anymore. Oh well. Let's try to at least win this last game. 5-2 again. Mission. Oh, 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 Kingdom View. Do not forget it. Can you do some weird gamble stuff here? Um. There you go. Could open track of forum maybe and then buy Stuart and try and top deck it with tracker. Guess that's kind of fine. And then what do you do here? Maybe just wayfarers and money. Mission is uh, on mission turns. You can use our wayfarers to. Ah, uh, mission and gamble does have some synergy. Well, don't know if you want to call it synergy, but right, you can't buy stuff anyway, so you can just gamble away. Do we even want a forum then? Yeah. Just gonna buy silver here. Forum on top. Uh, you can top take an estate. So our steward gets a nice trash. Don't know if that makes any sense at all. Maybe it does. I guess we're gonna we're gonna try to get some trashes in with Stuart and then just go into Wayfarers. Oh missions, alright. Gambling away. We can gamble here. Huh. 
Uh, so we could go Copper Wayfarer here. Again, I feel like this is a board where I have no clue what to do. And thinking back to last board where I thought I knew what to do, which went poorly. <laughs> That's kind of bad news for this one. We're just gonna try to do what we think might work and Maybe we are lucky and it does indeed work. Now do we want a gold? Why not? And then we gamble. We can even top deck it. I know it doesn't make much sense to gamble, does it? We're gonna, well, maybe we can then gamble two more times. <laughs> what is this even? What is this thing we're trying to do? We just removed our Wayfarer from the top of our deck. Now we get to gamble and mission. This is the ultimate um, wheel spinning. Go Wayfarer, all right. We're gonna mission now. Oh, nice. Uh, we get to trash one estate. Better than nothing. Let's keep the estate. Um, might be able to steward it away. And maybe we even get to trash this tracker, which doesn't do anything anymore. Yep. Let's clear the top of our deck. Hmm. That kind of felt like a reasonable turn. Kind of. Here we could attack. Ooh. Is he gonna go single tactician? Single tactician deck. There's good stuff uh, on the top of our deck. Maybe just buy a gold here. Or no, rather Silver Wayfarer, I think. What's he gonna embargo with Tactician? Province. He oh, sure. 
Sure. Oh, that's nice. Gamble tactician, huh? Missed that. That's a thing we did miss. Oh god. This is gonna be... Quite something, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> Guess we got it. Try and do it as well. Right, that does seem pretty strong. But you gotta rebuy the tactician, or you could set it up before him. Uh, first we got a we've got to gamble to find pouch maybe. I think this is all treasure, so it should be possible. Gold and pouch down there. No, no gold. There's our pouch. Well, now we can't buy a tactician anymore. We're just gonna mission. We're gonna trash here. If we hadn't embargoed province, we could just try to outrun this. I don't know if that's even possible. Trash these coppers, they are bad for gambling. Oh, nice. Silvers are gamble neutral, as we we're gonna call it. Yeah, he can set it up now before him. Man, that's really nice. He found the, the good stuff to do here. So, apparently he's, he's not clueless at all about what to do here. And then you could build like a bishop thing. And you'll, you'll never have to buy province. Yep, it gets a gold. Well, actually, I mean, you can play. I don't know. Forum on top. Hmm, I say screw it. We're just gonna province now. Not bother with that fancy stuff. Uh, 
Yeah, we should buy it now. Even comes with a. Nope, does not because you, you gain the province second. Oh, that's sad. I thought it would come with a free wayfarer. I don't know. I didn't feel like we had a good tr transition into what he's doing. So trying to copy, we would just lose. So we're gonna try and buy provinces. He's really played this nicely. I gotta say. Now oh, he buys a province as well, okay. He's got this double tagged deck running. Um, we can add gold. We can province. Why? <laughs> Why? Wow, that was uh, quite fortunate. I don't think it's gonna save us, but it was cute. He's played this really nicely, gotta say. I mean the whole match, right? He's he's played really well and this game in particular, this board in particular, played it great. Mm. I think we can end this now. Good games. Well played. Uh yeah, especially this last one. Really impressive how you found um, that nice deck there. Yeah, Tactician Gamble is a thing which we didn't have it on my radar, but from now on certainly will, because I'll remember this game in particular, I think. Anyway, yep, roller coaster season does continue indeed so I mean we're not gonna get into the champ match now but well it's kind of fine because even if we did I think uh, we wouldn't have had the best shot at winning it mm. and um, What should we be at now? 18, 18 and a half to... Uh, 17 and a half, right? So we should not have to worry about the motion, I guess. So that's it for this season. And thank you everyone for watching, listening. See you in season 44. Goodbye.